Editing, an aspect of filmmaking that is often overlooked, because the more invisible you make each edit, the better you are doing. It's the invisible art. The first general tip, be concise. More specifically, cut on or near actions. When there are lulls of action and nothing is really happening on screen, the audience's focus tends to wander away from the video. By cutting your footage around constant action as often as you can, you will keep the audience tuned into your video. However, there are some instances where you may not want to cut out lulls in action. If you want to build a feeling of boredom, isolation, suspense, or tension, then it might be a good idea to leave in all those tedious pauses. In general though, cut concisely and your video will flow nicely. The next trick is a match cut. This is a cut in the middle of an action to a different shot of the same action with the goal of making the cut invisible. It adds depth, shot variety, and detail to a scene so the audience stays tuned in. Match cuts are an editor's must have. You can also experiment with matching different things together. Sometimes it can be fun to have a match cut with two things that don't quite match. Maybe you want to match cut a door slamming and a high five together, or a bone and a satellite. Mess around with it. That's what makes editing so much fun. There are unlimited ways to cut things together. The next tip is about audio. When cutting two clips together with differing audio, whether it's ambient noise or dialogue, there tends to be breaks or pops that can distract the audience. There's a simple fix to this. Put an audio transition between the two pieces of audio and no more breaks. You can find this in Premiere by going to Effects, Audio Transitions. The next tip is about framing. A simple reminder that, as an editor, you can change the frame of your shot. If, for example, there's a visible boom mic, or maybe you just want the frame to be a little tighter, it's a quick fix. If you are editing with Adobe Premiere, you can double click in the upper right window and then simply adjust the frame in or out and drag it where you want. Be careful with this though, because you can lose some quality if you zoom in too much. Next up, use your audience's eyes. When you watch a video, your eyes naturally fall wherever the action is happening on screen. Use this knowledge to your advantage. Let's say you have a nice shot of a crowd of people the main subject of your film is somewhere in it and you want viewers to easily locate them. A cool way to do this is to place them wherever the action was happening in the previous shot. This way, the audience will already be looking directly at where you want and they will immediately see what you intend them to see. You can also use this trick to do more than pick someone out of a crowd. Try and use this to simply emphasize actions. Know wherever the audience's focus may be at any given time and play around with it. The last tip demonstrates the immense power editing holds, and it's a fun note to end on. Editing and humor. Obviously, a big part of comedy is actors and their timing, but sometimes one simple edit can also make an audience laugh. My favorite example of this, a simple cut to the next shot before the action has fully finished. Uh, so what's your mockumentary gonna Allison, be about? Are what? Are they gonna interview us with this clear background? You know we're in film, you know we have to have an interesting background. We're doing a mockumentary on... Count yeah. three, uh, everyone in the air. Three, two, what? one, zero. Just okay. you, safe you jump, safe jump. We didn't get it. Okay, I have a plan. I'm going to pull really hard. That's a terrible plan. One. Don't do this. Two, three. Editing can be overwhelming. There are endless ways to cut together just a few shots each one changing what you feel and when you feel it. This was a lot of tips, and it can be hard to visualize how to apply them all at once. To try and contextualize everything we covered, here's a short scene that applies a lot of the previous tips. Hey, guys, um, I'm going to need to use yourself. I have an interview to do. Um, no, sorry, I'm, I'm in the middle of using yourself for a photo shoot. I can work uh, on. But I just asked Bonnie, and she said that it was OK. Uh, yeah, it's not today. I'm, I'm still in the middle of using her. It's not going to take me that much no, longer. Maybe, sorry. how about like... If you wanted her, you should have asked. I'm going to take her. Please, wait, no. Jeez, what?